Today I'm going to be doing a productive kind of reset here at the beginning of the week because my life is a bit of a mess. I was gone for eight days in South Carolina visiting my mom. I came back and immediately the next morning woke up and went on a five hour road trip to my friend's hometown and hung out with their family. Then came back Sunday night and I just woke up and it's Monday morning. I have a duffel bag and a suitcase full of clothes, half dirty, half clean. My room is a mess, everything's a mess. So I'm just gonna have a productive day. I started by waking up, going into the bathroom and just like washing my face and stuff. Then I remembered my toiletries are still in my bag. That like awkward unpacking type of day. So went and got that so I could brush my teeth and whatnot. Throw my gym clothes and I'm gonna do some laundry while I go to the gym. And that brings us to right now. So let's go to the gym. This is my go-to gym bag. It was a Christmas present from my dad and my stepmom. So. It works really nice. I always take this camera to the gym. So let's make sure I have a clear SD card. Actually, I don't know if all of this is imported. Do I have another SD card? I guess I'll just do the one from this camera. So I'll pack this up first. Phone, all my lights are on in here. Lights off, Apple Watch, and my water bottle. Oh, today's leg day, so I'll wear my Converse through downstairs. Okay, I think that's everything. cup of coffee and I just need a minute. I've been working out the whole time I was in South Carolina. I just kept going to the gym and we were very active while we were there. And then my trip to my friend's hometown, I at least went on like a walk around one of the days and then still did like a decent amount of like walking around and stuff the other day. So, you know, I stayed pretty active and I'm trying to live an active lifestyle. I'm not like super strict with like go to the gym six days a week, even though that's the goal. So today was a little rough, but still feel good. Still lifting the heavy weights and everything. I'm just pretty tired now, but I also have a lot of energy at the same time. The weird post workout moment. So I'm gonna drink a cup of coffee and do my Bible study and I'm gonna shower and then I just have so much like cleaning to do. My room is quite the mess. I recently did two giant L's. So L number one is my laptop is here plugged in. It's been like this all weekend because I was gonna charge it so I could edit on my drive down when I wasn't driving and post on Saturday. But instead I just left my laptop on my desk so I didn't post this weekend and it was a video I'm so excited about so I'm gonna have to edit it today. So I'm not ahead, I'm behind. Love that. L number two, I get home from my trip and realize I forgot my pillow. <laughs> I left it at my friend's parents' house. It's just there on the bed. My favorite pillow that I stole from my mom. It's a very nice pillow, very expensive pillow. So I'm gonna have to take some L's and sleep on like a mid pillow instead of like a top tier pillow for the next until I can get that back So honestly, it's a bit of a struggle, but we're surviving. I'm honestly just so excited to finally get back in a routine I do love to travel. Don't get me wrong. I love seeing family and stuff, but I love being in a routine I love being home. I've become such a homebody I already feel like a hundred times more put together after going to the gym, a shower, and completely cleaning my room and putting away all my clean laundry. And it's only noon. So I am going to start editing a video that I'm gonna post today and then hopefully continue editing other videos or filming or whatever inspirational things come into my brain. I'm done. I honestly don't even remember the last time I sat down and just completely edited a video in one sitting. I normally physically cannot do that. Don't know why, I just can't. I came up with a couple video ideas, so I have my notebook here and I'm just gonna kind of brainstorm and do like a little guide or outline for them. I have some more clean laundry that I need to bring up that just got done in the dryer and I need to make food because I haven't eaten yet. But I'm gonna do this first. I listen to worship music.
I went downstairs and put the clean clothes in my laundry basket so I can take it up and put them away. And then I was looking around for something to eat. I didn't know if I wanted to make something. I am gonna make something really good in a couple hours for dinner. So I kind of want something just light to hold me over until like five or six. So I was like, you know what? I think I'm just gonna make a sandwich. Go simple. So I started to make my sandwich. I just have turkey and provolone. And this might look really gross, but all of these sauces together, we've got sriracha mayo, avocado hot sauce, and sriracha. Makes for a really good combination. Then I really wanted some pickles. I finally bought a big jar of big pickles because I love those. And then I realized I don't have a man around who's gonna open this jar for me. So I'm trying and trying and trying because I can open the little ones with a lot of effort, but I could not open this big one. So then I decided to look it up. So I looked up how to open a pickle jar and it came up with a bunch of options, but I didn't feel like reading. So I saw a picture that was like, oh, use a spoon or something. So then I did it and I heard it like the seal break and I was like, okay. And then I kept doing it and finally opened it. And this is when I realized that I really don't need no man. I'm a strong independent woman and I can open a pickle jar by myself. So I got my two pickles and then I took everything upstairs. It was really cold downstairs. So I put on this thing that I had in my closet down there. Literally forgot I had this. My brother got it for my whole family for Christmas. Everyone got one a couple years ago and that just came in handy. It's great for camping in the cold too. Anyway, but then it's not as cold up here, so I'm literally just gonna take it back off. I think I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a break. My video's uploading, I just need to make a thumbnail for it, and then I'm gonna get a little bit ready and film one of the videos that I was writing down an outline for. But in the meantime, I'm gonna eat my food and probably watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which is the show I'm watching right now. I finished my little break, and now I'm gonna make a thumbnail and stuff. I'm also currently live on TikTok. Everyone say hello. Because I forgot that going live was a thing. I put on a little bit of makeup and then filmed two little like sit down videos I can trickle in between all these vlog type of videos. I need to put away the rest of my laundry and then I'm gonna get ready to go to like my discipleship thing tonight. I have like 30 minutes till I need to leave till then. Ooh, you guys like never seen this angle of the room. But there shouldn't be that much laundry. I washed most of it. First, I always separate it into piles and then I hang it up or put it away. I just realized how cold my feet were. And these are my favorite socks. And they're clean. So perfect. My second little laundry is always like mostly socks. Maybe because they like fall to the bottom or something. I don't know. I also somehow always have to do two loads. I think it's because like my net thing is kind of big and my washer and dryer are like the smallest washer and dryer in the world. Okay, I recently learned, well actually for the longest time in my life, I did not pair up my socks and I would just toss all my socks into like my sock drawer or bucket or whatever. But my socks never matched every time I wore socks and I would always lose socks. And so in the past couple years, I started just always pairing up my socks and guess what? I hardly ever lose socks and my socks always match. So if you're not doing that already, that is your next step in your adult journey is pairing up your socks. You know, it's actually so funny. I'm like, I never lose socks. I literally only have one sock. I'm sure it's like around somewhere or something Sometimes I drop them since my dryer is like up high and I have to like bring it down they'll fall into the cracks. I'm actually missing a couple of socks. Ah, I found one sock hiding at the bottom of this. Found another sock under a bunch of clothes. And I just found the last sock under my bed. So see, I was right. I'm now packing to go to my discipleship. I always bring my notebook with like the, I just scared myself in the mirror, with like the week or however long it's been since we met. Notes from my Bible studies and just life stuff. My Bible, and then my phone and my keys are downstairs, so I'm ready. I came downstairs and Charlie literally made cookies. Shout out. Okay. All right, cookie taste test. I'm actually pretending like I haven't already eaten one, but here we go. Mm -hmm. They're like the perfect like crunchy to soft ratio. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I'm just jamming out to Maverick City currently. I'm on my way to my mentorship thing, whatever. Charlie's gonna make stir fry so it's ready when I get back. So I don't have to worry about making dinner later. So that is banging. But I forgot what I was gonna say. I'm literally hitting every red light. This is why like, I leave, I'm gonna be there on time. No, traffic, red lights, love that for me. <laughs> I don't know if I said this already, but I went to the store. So on my drive home, I drove five hours and I was like, I actually really need groceries. I know I have no food in my house because I was just on another trip. So I literally went to the store that night at like nine o'clock at night. And I'm so glad I did because I did not want to go to the store today. And now I have food for the next like week or two. So 
I think that was a pretty good decision. I also filled up my uh, gas tank when I got home, so now I don't have to do it every time I leave the house and think about it and then I accidentally run out of gas after my road trip. So honestly, I'm kind of on top of things. Just made it, I'll see you after. Why is my car so squeaky? Somehow as soon as the sun goes down, I'm just like vlogging doesn't exist. So all I did last night was came home and ate dinner and literally went to bed. I went to bed at like 11 o'clock at night. And I was so tired when I woke up this morning. And my arm like really hurts right here. I don't know, I did leg day yesterday, so I don't know why it would hurt so bad. I always slept on it weird. So today at the gym, I'm gonna stretch out my arm. I'm gonna do more like cardio stuff today because I don't really want to lift weights on her arm. But look at this cute little hairstyle I did. I love it. Anyways, I just woke up, kind of got ready, was listening to some worship music, and now I'm going to head to the gym. Today is honestly like another really productive day, kind of the same exact thing as yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!